What is up? This is Trent with Sound Link Magazine here with Brian from Have Mercy. How you doing today, man? Good, man. How are you? Doing awesome. It's a nice, nice weather today. Pretty sunny underneath this nice tree here. So a little hot, but yeah, it's a little hot. It. Wearing these jeans and stuff. We're both wearing yeah, jeans. <laughs> I'm not switching. <laughs> so uh, you're on tour with Real Friends and some other awesome bands and stuff. So how's that going for you guys? It's pretty well. I mean, the show's been packed. We're doing great. So okay, been good. Uh, any interesting stories happened so far on this thing? Or any any funny moments? Uh, nothing too crazy yet. It's actually been really calm. Hopefully, you know, this is right around when tour pranks start to happen. So I'm sure we'll start getting each other. <laughs> That'd be sick. You got anything up up your sleeve for any of the bands? Or uh, I know a few of us in the band do. So okay. hopefully we get some good out. Okay, awesome. So uh, you guys just put out a new record not too long ago. Um, I love it. A lot of people love it and oh, stuff. Yeah. So. Um, I don't even know where to begin asking about it because because you know I you know I genuinely loved it and connected with it in a way uh, much like the last one stuff. So, so I guess I guess the first question is how how have you I guess grown as a band from between albums and such? I mean a lot's changed. Like I'm the sole member now, so everyone's just touring musicians. Uh, but like as a songwriter and stuff, I feel like I've definitely grown into you know a better one. I guess okay. yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know that. So what with what with what happened with uh, the rest of the guys and you becoming the sole guy, I guess? It was kind of everyone was just burnt on touring a lot and I wanted to keep going and I still wanted to do music and uh, it didn't work that way with them. So, just parted ways. It's okay. Cool. Now, uh, the lyrical content on this one is still it's still, you know, obviously heartbrokenness and stuff <laughs> yeah. and all that. So, uh, but the last one um, it seems more like a story of a relationship where this one just seems like it's it's not really a cohesive story unless I'm unless I'm wrong on that. No, but uh, you're right. Okay, so um, what happened to to like get these lyrics out because you know there's some stuff like uh, I cut the car off his Camaro and uh, you know when you feel me again I hope it hurts you know like what what happened like what went into these lyrics and stuff? I don't know. I kind of went back and like I don't have a lot of like drama in my life now, so not a lot to write about. So I went back on like just stories from my past and stuff. The Camaro thing was a joke, like an inside <laughs> joke with our producer. Because I, he was ragging on me to write lyrics to the song I didn't want to, want to write lyrics on, <laughs> and he always talked about having these Camaros back in the day. So I wrote it about killing him. Uh, so, but he, he's fine <laughs> with it. It's cool. Okay, so it's, the song it sounds like he's talking about some some guy with a girl, you, and you don't like the guy, and you're like, why couldn't? Yeah, I couldn't just <laughs> say, hey, I'm gonna kill you, Paul Levitt. But uh, I just had to change it a little bit to make it something. Did you borrow from Brand New or anybody like that with <laughs> that type of stuff? No. With, no. Uh, I hope you dry your brakes go out in the snow or whatever. Oh or? no, I didn't. Really <laughs> Really get that yeah. one yeah okay no i didn't i i just think it's funny to talk about paul levitt because we butt heads sometimes and when i was angry with him i was like yeah i'll cut those brakes man okay it's funny. <laughs> so uh, with the with the title and stuff make the most of it and everything what is that uh make the best of it i'm sorry uh yeah, what what uh what what's the what's the story behind that name and everything i mean it was kind of like uh, during the time of the record it it, it it was supposed to be recorded in a month and a half and ended up taking seven months we didn't think it was going to come out uh, we were having a lot of the member changes happen then, and like personally, I had a lot of stuff going on in my life. Like I was kicked out of an apartment, and I had to build a new apartment on my own. Like there was so much going on that like I thought that was a perfect title to sum up what was going on in my life. So, okay. Yeah. And uh, you talk about these songs being like older stories and stuff. So what kind of mindset did you have to get to in the studio and? and writing these lyrics to put yourself back in that to get the emotion you hear on the record and stuff what what was the process of going behind i guess like you know assuming years of old stories and stuff to get yourself back in that mindset i don't know like we normally write uh like the guitars and the melodies and everything first and then i go back and like write the lyrics to everything so i kind of just took whatever tone or feeling that i felt from the songs that were written and related it to like different feelings i've had over the you know the 27 years of my life so okay yeah all right so what's next for your band and stuff for this tour you got any cool plans for the summer or we have a full year booked i have some cool stuff happening over the summer we're doing some intimate shows uh and then we have a fall tour booked and hopefully going back to europe uh by the end of the year maybe uh early 2018 okay yeah. awesome so i got some i guess uh you know band tour questions for you here yeah. um <laughs> so uh I don't know if it's happened to you guys, but a lot of bands get their stuff stolen on tour and stuff like that. Yep. So, um, what is what are some things I guess you guys do to be aware of that and uh, keep it from happening? Uh, make sure your stuff's always locked up and you stay in safe neighborhoods. We've been broken into once. We had most of our gear stolen in uh, right outside Buffalo, New York, and we just we didn't. Normally, when you have a van and trailer, you back it up against something so no one can open up the door, and we didn't do that. Uh, so we just left it wide open. Somebody went up, cut the lock, and got all their stuff. You just got to be safe. Okay. Yeah. And uh, before you started touring versus now, what are some? How have? How do you view the world now? 
do the, after you've seen it and toured the USA and all that cool stuff? I don't know. Like, I, I guess, uh, I don't know how to put it. Like, I feel like I want to be friendlier to everyone I see. Uh, because being on the road, everyone's like pissy all the time and you have to boost morale within a band. And uh, I feel like whenever we go out, I'm just like generally nicer to everyone now. Okay. I was probably real jaded as a kid, <laughs> but now I'm like, okay. you know, treat everybody yeah. with the utmost kindness. All right, sweet. And I got a fun one here for you. And I'm interested to hear your answer because you write about heartbreak. She writes about heartbreak. So uh, if you uh, could hang out with Date, Mary, do anything you want to with Taylor Swift and she wrote a song <laughs> about you, what would that song be called and what would it be about? Uh, probably, it would probably be called Drunk Asshole. Uh, and, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it would probably just be about me being a drunk asshole sometimes, I would guess. Okay. <laughs> what, what, would a, what would a T. Swift Have Mercy collab song sound like? Oh, hopefully sick. I would expect a huge ballad. Really? I, I would love to write with Taylor Swift. Like, a, like a duet type thing? Or? Um, yeah, I'd do a duet with, like with her. Like you write a letter to her about how she screwed you over, she writes one back to you, she probably has like, the same thing? She probably has like 20 songs like that already. <laughs> <laughs> but not about you, though. Not about you, so. Yeah, that'll never yeah. happen. She's got other ones, Yeah. Right, well, uh, thanks for talking to us today. Uh, this, yeah. I'm Trent with Sound Like Magazine, hanging out here with Have Mercy. So, uh, Sick. peace out. Yeah.